Hey y'all, this is Ann McCraney. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the five. So the monthly five are five exercises you could do anywhere using minimal equipment. And we work through release work, organization, strength, and stretching. And this follows my trademark Ross protocol, release, organize, strengthen, and stretch. I've designed these monthly moves for you to have a go-to, short, easy-to-follow program. If you wake up Tuesday morning and you're like, I want to get some movement, but I'm not sure what, you just click on the video, do with me. This could be your standalone strength program. So if you're walking, but you're not doing squats or push-ups, do this program with me. Start with the release exercises, organization. Then if you can, if you have time and the bandwidth to go two or three times through each of the strength moves, and I give you one lower body and one upper body move. So for example, if it was squats and push-ups, you would do three rounds of 10, 15 squats, three rounds of 10 to 15 push-ups, and then you're stretched at the end. So you could stretch this out to be a 12 to 15 minute program, but still very short amount of time to get in some release work, some juicing up your joints, organization for your smaller muscles, then working your bigger muscles, pushing some weight, and then a stretch at the end. You could also use this as a warm up or a cool down or in addition to, let's say you're doing Zumba or you've got a class that you like that you go to live or on Zoom. So this could be a way that if you're already getting some nice cardio and you want the mobility or you want strength or you just want some new exercises to do. So how did I come up with this? Uh, when I was early in my training, you know, I wanted to give everybody everything. I had this spreadsheet for one of my ladies and I had all this stuff. And she said, I'm not going to do all this. I'm not even going to read this spreadsheet. <laughs> she said, give me five things. I can remember five things in my brain. And so that was super helpful for me to have that feedback from her. I was over engineering her program. So I started with these five moves each month. And then I started incorporating them into some of our classes, if it's appropriate for a training client, they'll do the five with me. So I'm looking at this based on most of my clients are women who are doing some cardio, doing some walking or hiking, but probably not doing strength work on their own. So is this a beginner type program? Um, yes, it is. Most of these are body weight exercise or we use very light weights or even stuff that's around the house. I'm going to encourage you, though, as we move through these moves, to push yourself where it's suitable for you. If you don't have a knee injury or a back injury, if you just haven't been moving in a while or haven't been on a consistent schedule, start with low weight. Start with body weight. If you're doing five-pound bicep curls and it's easy for you to do 10 of those, it's time to pick up a heavier weight. So message me if you need help deciding what type of weight to start with or how to do this with minimal equipment. Um, my goal is that you can use what's in your house already. Most of us have a lot of stuff in the house we could use to where you don't have to build out an entire gym in your house and you can still get a decent strength workout where you're improving bone density, working on your balance, working on your coordination, being able to pick something heavy up, being able to pick up your grandchild. Being able to put your suitcase in the overhead bin, that's what we're working towards. So if your suitcase weighs 30, 40 pounds, you need to be able to hoist that much weight overhead. So who is this not for? This is not for someone who has a, an injury that the, a physician or a medical professional has told you, do not exercise, do not get your heart rate up, do not lift things over your head, do not push yourself. Um, if you have been cleared for exercise by a physician and they've said, it's time to get moving, you need to add some strength work, this would be suitable for you. I am not a doctor. I'm not a physical therapist. I am a massage therapist and personal trainer. And what I love to do is help my ladies get moving in a safe and economical way. So a lot of my clients are coming off of a hip surgery, a knee replacement, maybe just a shoulder injury, or even just I slept funny and my neck is tight or sore. So my goal is to find a way to get all of you moving, 
um, whether that's some gentle rolling of your head or a bird dog or a baby bear, something there's always somewhere we can start, something really easy we can start with. So if you watch some of these videos and you go, mm, I think I need some help from Ann, call me, send me an email. I'm happy to give you some guidance. My hope is that this will get the ball rolling. This will start you moving, start you on a schedule of, hey, three days a week, I could do some kind of mobility and strength work. Maybe every day I just take myself through this five to 10 minute video. I hope these videos help and I'd love to hear your feedback as to where were you stuck? Where did you feel successful? What are your favorite exercises? Are there any of them you don't love? <laughs> Let me know. You can email me or call me and I appreciate you and I'm, I'm happy to support you and on this journey and I love you.